Hi everyone, it's Jay from Idosu Crafts and welcome to our channel. So this video is part two of how to decorate your open bay window display fun fold. So I'll crack on and show you the craft table. So if you haven't seen part one, do check out the video. Uh, this is just my prototype and how I've decorated it. There you go. And that's how it opens up. And in part one, I went through the measurements and um, the scoring and the DSP as well. So for decorating, I'm using the Thoughtful Wishes bundle with the stamp set. So I'll be using just the sentiment from there and the dice, two of the dice from Thoughtful Wishes. And of course, Thoughtful Journey Designers, designers Series paper. These are really pretty. Uh, watercolor scenes and washes so that's why I opted for those and I've got a piece of garden green card stock petunia pop in color glimmer paper and peach pie for the sentiment and it's gonna be quite simple um, decorating because the fun fold I think is quite a wow in its own. So this was the piece that I scored and cut on part one. Again if you want to see how that's done do check out part one. Before I add the DSP onto the card base I'll do some die cutting first. We're just gonna quickly die cut the petunia pop glimmer paper with that design. <laughs> It's got uh, leafings and flowers on there. And we're gonna use garden green for the piece without the flower. And we're just gonna stamp the sentiment. I've opted for the dearest friend in memento. And we're just gonna trim that with our trimmer. Just sniff off the edge. I'll quickly show you my chosen DSP. So that's gonna be the layout of my panels. So the left, middle, and right hand side are all from one DSP and the second and the fourth are all from one DSP and you can see that it matches. So these just needs to be stuck down onto your panels. So I would say bef before you stick down your top and the bottom piece, you can stick down your center and your inner panels as well. So I'm just gonna re-push that back and just flatten all that. Okay, so I'll just quickly do that now. So I'm just gonna use the seal for easy or quick adhesion. It, it'll have a one eighth of an inch border and then the next one, and then the middle part. So once those are in, you can add your glue onto the tabs. So you can use seal or Tombow. I'll just use Tombow. Flatten it out and just lift up. Use a bone folder and then do the same on the top. So now we can add the small pieces on the top and along the bottom. Check the description below for the product links for all current Stampin' Up! products available on our online shop. If you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, Netherlands, Belgium or Ireland, Then we're just going to add the panels on the left and the right. We're just going to finish up and decorate the center part. So you have your petunia pop. And just add glue onto most of the joints. 
it is a shame that you'll be covering most of it. You could always offset it so you have hints of the glimmer. But this is how you would use this dye to get the um, different colors for the stems and then the flowers. But as I said, it is a shame. So I'm just gonna slightly offset it and wait for that to dry. Once that's dry, just add again loads of spot spotted the um dumbo and we're simply gonna add that right in the middle. To add some glimmer onto it and for the sentiment I'm just gonna add that along the base there so I don't want to add dimensions onto there so I'm just gonna add loads of blue central You can add some bling or flat blings around. I'm just gonna add this iridescent adhesive disc in the greens just to add some more interest on there. And there we go, that is my open bay window display fun fold card. I hope you enjoyed that and feel free to case and share with us by tagging us at Mitoso Crafts when you share it on your social media. What papers and decorations would you use on yours? Do let us know below. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time, bye!